Hello and welcome to my video for the CSGO E-League Atlanta 2017 Major. This year they're using the Swiss system which basically means uh, teams must win three games to progress and the teams that lose three obviously drop out. Uh, the picks that I'm going to be making are based uh, off the first round matchups. I've done a bit of a, uh, a chart of what each round of, the, of these group stages are going to be and um, based on those sort of matchups and what I think could uh, happen with the wins there is how I've got my teams at the end. But I'll run through uh, why I think the first round uh, teams are going to get through and that might be able to help you guys uh, you know, pick your teams that are going to progress out through to the playoffs. Uh, so for the first round we're going to have Gambit versus North. I'm going to go with North uh, because they have the bigger map pool. They seem to have around a 70% win ratio on those maps and um, I think they'll just be too much for Gambit. Uh, the second map for the day will be uh, Fnatic versus G2. Uh, Fnatic obviously a new team. Uh, G2 aren't going with the team swap until after the majors so I'm not expecting anything spectacular out of G2 uh, for the E-League Atlanta Major. Uh, the third one for the day on the first round matchups will be SK versus Hellraisers. Uh, SK have a roster change coming after the Major as well and they have uh, Fox, uh, the ex phase clan member, Orpa. And um, I'm not expecting, to be honest, too much uh, from Fox and uh, from SK. Uh, but they're playing Hellraisers and uh, Hellraisers, interesting interestingly have uh, been doing really well on train and overpass which is SK's uh, strong maps traditionally but uh, since I think Fox is in the team SK are really a four man uh, Fox is an AWPA uh, traditionally uh, Fallen is also an AWPA but can rifle obviously we know Cold Zero is a beast and can just run right on uh, any team but I I think Hellraisers may upset SK in the first round there, so and, uh, SK can fight their way back later on uh, through the other t other maps and other teams and progress through that way. Uh, so I'm going with Hellraisers for that. Uh, the fourth one for the day will be uh, VP versus Optic. Um, VP and Optic have uh, obviously had some really close games lately, but I think uh, VP is going to win uh, basically with more major experience than Optic. I think Optic uh, fluked it last time they... Uh, they uh, beat, uh, what do you call it, BP, but yeah. And the uh, fifth one will be uh, Na'Vi versus Mouse Sports. Um, Na'Vi should win this one. It's going to be really a battle between Simple versus Nico, uh, and whoever wins that battle, I think uh, the team will win the game. Uh, Na'Vi hasn't won a, a best of three in three months, but these are best of ones. And uh, Mouse Sports uh, ex-coach uh, Kassad is now at the Renegade, so it'll be interesting to see what... Uh, the new coach brings to the table as far as mouse sports uh, strats are concerned. And then we got Liquid versus Envy, or oh, this is an easy pick in. Envy should win this uh, quite comfortably. I'm not expecting Liquid to win a map at all uh, through this whole tournament. Kenny S is uh, on fire at the moment, and it really comes down to map picks. Envy do force by a lot and tend to rush without regard, but I don't think Liquid uh, can still withstand Envious. And uh, the Second last map of the day will be uh, Stralis versus Godsent, and uh, that will be a very close game, I reckon. Um, Glaive has been very consistent. I think uh, it was at the M MLG Major um, that Glaive was the uh, ex-coach and stepped in, and um, yeah, did really, really well. Um, obviously, he's a proven IGL uh, when he was at Heroic, and um, as I said, he's an ex-coach of Stralis, and... Um, they could possibly win the major. Um, you could possibly say Australis could also get out of the group stages 3-0. Uh, then the last one for the day will be flip, size, flip side versus FaZe, and uh, FaZe should win this easy. With Kerrigan on the team, FaZe looks like a, a stronger unit overall with their firepower and um, just their overall Kerrigan's tactics. Uh, I don't think uh, Blade uh, and Flipside can, can pull off the... The, uh, the victory there and um, yeah that's pretty much it for the uh, the first round matchup so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll drop in what I'm going to pick for the uh, the stickers uh, so we're going to start off with uh, North where the, where's North hiding there they are so North are going to get out 3-0 as I said you could you could go with Australis for this one but I'm going to go with North um, my second pick will be Australis 
Um, I'll go for the elimination one. So I'm going to go with, well, Team Liquid for that one. Uh, you could probably go with Gambit for that one, but I'll probably say Liquid's, you know, out of Liquid and Gambit, I'd say Liquid's the weaker of the two. Uh, for the, the third team to progress out, I'm going to go with Na'Vi based on my little flowchart I have in front of me here of round matchups and what I think they're going to be. Uh, third one, fourth one rather, to progress would be Phase Clan. And then we'll have Optic Gaming. And then we'll have Virtus Pro. And then we'll have Godsent. And last but certainly not least, we will have SK Gaming. So there you go guys, uh, that's my picks for, for the group stage of the CSGO E-League Atlanta 2017 Major. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. What did you pick? Uh, let me know what you, what you think down in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a like. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video.